From being the world's largest arms importer for the last three decades, India is quickly climbing up the ranks as an emerging arms exporter. Armenia has quickly emerged as a key buyer of Indian defense equipment, helping New Delhi register record arms exports last year. Now reports suggest Armenia is set to get the Advanced Toad Artillery Gun System or Heavy Artillery from India. As tensions escalate in the South Caucasus, Armenia and Azerbaijan are intensifying the military preparations, raising concerns of a renewed conflict. Armenia's strategic move involves significant weapons procurement from India, signaling a strategic shift in its own defense strategy. This procurement aims to modernize Armenia's artillery capabilities, replacing outdated Soviet-era weaponry towards modern, made-in-India tech and arms. Armenia has reportedly placed an order for the Advanced Toad Artillery Gun System or ATAGS from India, renowned for its high altitude operability and advanced features. The ATAGS, designed for high mobility and rapid deployment, boasts advanced communication and command systems, making it an ideal choice for Armenia's strategic needs. With its capability to strike targets up to 50 kilometers away, the ATAGS represents a significant enhancement in Armenia's artillery firepower. Armenia's defense investments have nearly doubled over the past year, reaching a substantial sum of over 1 billion US dollars, with a significant portion allocated to contracts with India. This surge underscores Armenia's commitment to bolstering its military capabilities amidst escalating regional tensions. Armenia has already procured Indian-made advanced systems, including the Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launchers and Akash surface-to-air missile defense system to neutralize Azerbaijani drones and aircraft supplied by Turkey. These cutting-edge systems enhance Armenia's ability to counter future potential threats from Azerbaijani forces armed with advanced Turkish and Pakistani weaponry. The Pinaka multi-barrel rocket system delivered to Armenia via Iran offers rapid response capabilities and a high rate of fire. A battery of the Pinaka can fire 72 rockets in just 44 seconds, neutralizing a square kilometer of enemy territory. This deployment underscores Armenia's focus on enhancing its long-range artillery capabilities and maintain credible deterrence posture. Armenia's acquisition of India's Akash surface-to-air missile system further fortifies its air defense capabilities. Manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited, the Akash system's versatility enables it to engage multiple aerial targets simultaneously. Armenia's strategic partnership with India in defense procurement reflects evolving geopolitical dynamics in the South Caucasus with implication for regional stability. As tensions persist, the strategic balance in the region is increasingly shaped by military modernization efforts and arm acquisitions. As Armenia strengthens its defense arsenal with state-of-the-art Indian weaponry, the fragile peace in the South Caucasus hangs in the balance. Azerbaijan has often criticized India of arming Armenia and, quote, pouring oil on fire. On the other hand, Baku depends on Turkey for weapons and training, which enabled it to capture the Nagorno-Karabakh enclave from Armenia. Do you believe Azerbaijan and Turkey have the right to criticize Armenia's procurement of Indian weapons? There is no bar on Indian defense exports, nor is Armenia sanctioned against buying such systems. Or do you believe Erdogan is simply afraid of losing Turkish influence in the region even further? Leave a comment below and remember to hit the like, subscribe and bell icons.